Hello and welcome to this super short uh, series of instructional videos for pranayama that just accompany the breath practices that I teach. So these are a good tool for you to master some of the techniques that I use in those classes, but don't always have time to break down and explain step by step. So today I want to take you through a practice called Analoma. And it's actually one of my favorite pranayams and definitely my go-to when the emotional stakes get a bit high. It's a beautiful practice for hypertension, for anxiety, for overwhelm. It kind of really works well out in that emotional field when things aren't just flowing nice and smoothly. So the name Anu Loma, Anu means extended and the Loma section, the, the Loma part of the name refers to going with the order of things. So we're going in the order of the breath, but we're focusing the breath on the exhalation. So this is where the alchemy starts to happen with the analoma practice, because it's all about this extra long exhalation. So we want the exhalation to be as long as we feel comfortable and confident to breathe it. As soon as we start going like too far, um, you know that you've gone too far. So pull it back because that's not the purpose of pranayam. And the purpose of pranayam is for you to work with an intelligence that keeps you inside the boundaries of what you are capable of on any given day. And that's the thing about it is that one day you'll be happily doing an exhalation of 20 counts and two days later, you'll be struggling to get to eight. So let it go. Be with what you're at today. Know that it fluctuates. So there's a few different um, variations on the analoma. So today I'm going to show you just the entry variation. And it's an inhalation through both nostrils, nice and clear, and the nostrils are really open. And then we hold the breath just for two or three counts. So kind of just long enough to bring the right hand upwards to the face. So it's a digital pranayam. We call it digital pranayam because it involves the digits on the hands. So you can do the Ganesh mudra. So that's index finger, tall finger to the space between the eyebrows. So maybe just try that with me now in a passive way um, without having to combine it with the breath technique. Bring your right thumb right up on the flare of the right nostril, right up to the little bone there. You can feel like a little corner of bone. So bring the right thumb and just press sort of gently up and into that. Don't go so hard that you start really jamming into the septum. So just gentle is all you need. And then your right ring finger comes to the same place on the left nostril just gently in and you can just pull the skin up a little bit um, as you press the side walls of the nostril in towards the sternum okay so that's one method that's called the Ganesh because of this kind of like little trunk another way that you can do it and might be more comfortable for your hand position is the prana mudra so take the Ganesh the trunk and you fold it into the palm of the hand same thing, right thumb moves to right nostril, right ring finger moves to the left. We control the breath. Now, controlling the breath with the fingertips is a fine art in itself. And there are chapters and probably books written on it, but definitely chapters, whole chapters in books dedicated to the delicacy of this control. So let it grow. Know that it's something that you'll be building in mastery over time. We want to feel like we're moving in analoma pranayam. We want to feel like we're moving the skin of the walls of the nostrils to become parallel with the septum. So we'll inhale and I'll take you through it in a moment, but we'll inhale for a count of eight. 
And then we're going to hold the breath for a couple of counts. And that's just long enough to bring the working hand up to create the foundation for the digital pranayama. Then we're going to partially close both nostrils. So not fully, but partially close them. And breathe out through them. And so now we create this thin stream of breath. Can you see? And that's how we start to extend the exhalation. At the end of that breath, when the lungs feel empty, you lower the hand and you inhale for the next round. So the hand goes up and down in this, um, in this practice uh, as we go. Now, the variations um, shift and change. Sometimes there's breath holds. Uh, we can alternate the nostrils, sometimes breathing out through right, sometimes breathing out through left. So there's a few different ways that we variate the analoma pranayama. But today, we're going to just learn this entry variation because really once you've got that, you can start to experiment with um, some of the more um, complicated techniques. Uh, one more thing before we just launch straight in, we're going to do three rounds together here, um, is that this pranayama, unlike some others, is really best done sitting up. It's not one that you can do lying down. So sit in a chair, lean against a wall. You can free sit, easy cross leg um, or kneeling position, whatever you like, um, but do get yourself into an upright position. Close your eyes. Now from your seated position, feel your sitting bones and just move them one millimeter towards the back of your knees. And you'll feel that that'll cup and gently grip something just between the navel and the pubic bone. And then if your tendency is to really puff the chest forwards, I know it's mine. Just drop the front ribs down. So we just take all of that urgency out of the chest. Widen your collarbones out to the side. Let that action set your shoulder blades. So we're not like ramming the shoulder blades down, but just widen the collarbones left and right. And you'll feel it'll settle the blades. Hands can go to the lap. Traditionally, they go to the knees. I want you to be comfortable in your arms. You start nice, easy flow of breath, just a little bit more conscious with your breath in and out through the nose. And you're aiming that breath as best as you're able, especially if you're a beginner, just go gently on yourself. Go slow, it comes with time. And start to really aim that breath for the lower belly. So I'm just going to keep talking and you just keep breathing. Try to inhale lower belly and let it, the breath spread to the left and to the right. So it comes to the waist. It comes a little bit round to the kidneys. If you can visualize breathing the lower back and the kidneys as you work, you'll be really setting some beautiful foundations for the analoma pranayama all pranayams from that kidney area it rises upwards to the collarbones you feel it it swells a little it lifts a little let it pause for a moment as you switch it over and the breath just kind of cascades out that exhalation is long and smooth and it is releasing by nature let's puff the next breath out through the mouth <laughs> So just commit to emptying the breath. Here we go. Lower, middle, upper, take in through the nose, eight counts. Nice. Drop the chin a little. <clears throat> Bring the right hand up now, digital pranayam. Partially close both nostrils. Exhale slow as you can. Lower the hand, inhale for eight. Try to breathe to the roof of the mouth, the back of the throat. Hold the breath, drop the chin a little, bring the working hand up, slow as you can, exhalation.
Lower the hand, in for eight. Raise that working hand. Feel the sensitivity through the fingers, slow exhale. Lower the right hand. All right, just a few more rounds in your own time now. So you're looking for that eight count inhale. Just that moment as the chin floats down, we hold. Bringing the working hand up, digital pranayam. Your time, your time. Slowly exhale the breath. Let it just come out like a thin golden thread through each nostril, emptying, emptying, emptying. There's a little pause and then you'll pick up for the next round. Now, as you keep working with this pranayam and you feel like the rhythm is manageable and you feel like you're kind of getting it I want you to start to now take your mind off the counting of the inhalation and just simply melt into the exhalation so allow the exhalation to merge the breath with the body with the mind and it's not something that we do with the intellectual brain. So I want you to move instead just into a space where you simply allow that to happen. You simply say yes to that experience. All right, let's take it all the way through. Next exhalation, just let the breath go. And we're going to call that the last one. So lower the right hand there when you're done. Deep breath in through both nostrils. And then a natural exhalation. Both nostrils are open. Just stay with your eyes closed for a couple of minutes if you've got time. And just notice that the nostrils feel a little more cleansed, that the sinus passages feel a little brighter. And that brightness feels as if it extends upwards towards the frontal lobes of the brain. Feels as if it extends a little out through the skin into that emotional field that sits around you where there is a little more of a sense of that ocean of emotion being slightly calmer, slightly clearer, as if the breeze just dropped. Thank you. Namaste.